Hey, yo, how come no one told me? How come no one told me that our favorite rapper turn internet troll, turn gangster, turn convicted felon, turn snitch, turn back into a rapper. I missed it. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family, clicking the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. I got a fly buzzing around and that hoe is as loud as a B-52 bomber. Now here we have a new track from 6 ix 9 entitled Gooba. Now this dude was every, everybody's favorite internet troll. His antics on Instagram kept us all entertained for days on end. He was the meme king. And then he basically turned into a meme in the gangster world when he went and snitched on everybody to get a shortened sentence, which also equates to probably a shortened life knowing how the gangster world works. But he's been pretty low key since he basically decided to rat out all of New York City and get released early. But today we have our first official track out of prison. Now normally you would never see this boy 6 9 on this channel. Not exactly the normal type of demographic when it comes to hip hop heads, lyricism, and it just, just doesn't fit the channel. But everybody else is doing it so let me see what the hype's about because everybody is like, I've seen every reactor that I'm subscribed to make a video to this song and it's number one on trending. You can't deny the fact that the world is interested in what this dude has to say first time out of prison. We got 45.5 million views, and this is literally less than a day after the video came out. But I'm excited, you never know. But let's load this thing up, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter, at the third earnest, just like the channel, links in the description below. Let's fucking get it. Man, I'm fucking excited. <laughs> I tell a nigga don't dick ride, don't blink ride, leave it to the double thick thighs, twin sisters. Drop it down and wobble, wobble up, mommy boot it up, she get down and gobble, gobble up, cause my money up. Slide, slide in the belly trucker, the rave trucker, your best. I don't even know. I don't even know what I feel about this. I don't, I've never even known what I felt about 6 9 to begin with. I mean, I understand why he blew up. People were like, nah, 6 9 ain't the 6 9 that you think of. Like, he's not the one that's collabing with Nicki Minaj. What made him blow up was the rapper that he was in the underground in, in Brooklyn, New York, wherever the fuck he's from in New York. And I listened to that shit, like SoundCloud rap style, and it was innovative at that time. It, like, there was nothing that sounded like it. I don't, I don't even know what to think about this fucking guy. At no point, for the rest of his fucking life, is he gonna be taken seriously for the fact that he ratted out? Like that's just that's just the facts. And right now, I don't. I feel sad. Like I'm I'm trying to watch someone struggle to come to the top again, but knowing that he's never gonna have that respect ever again. But I don't know. I mean, I I just don't know. I thought I was gonna be hyped for it, but I feel sad right now. You know. Big hater, you nothing but a hater, hater. Cloud chaser. Now we catch him at the chicken spot. Up a couple chops. Pop that nigga with a hundred shots. Blah, 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 blah. They didn't so the beat is fucking fire. Like it's after it came in and after it hit, that shit goes fucking hard. And his delivery is good. Like his voice, like his vocal patterns are good. Like the texture in his voice, the deeper bass side of his voice, his yelling like style of delivery. But again, he's not really saying anything that he hasn't said before. He's talking about he's talking about gangster shit and like it's not it's not landing it's in the in the normal way it is, it would. And there's a cognitive dissonance in my mind between the gangster rapper that he used to be and the gangster rapper he is now. Cause the gangster rapper he used to be didn't fucking snitch. Now the gangster rapper that he is now snitched on his fucking brothers. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like you can't go back to that. You know? And also, what does it feel like to have 6 9 all over your body? Like, how does it feel to have that brotherhood that you are no longer a part of because you ratted them out are now gonna be the ones that are coming after you? Always looking over your shoulder for the people that you have tatted on your face. You know? That's, whew. But yo, this beat goes hard as fuck though, right here. Cloud chaser! Now we catch him at the chicken spot, up a couple chops, pop that nigga with a hook of shit, yada yada yada. When you see me, what you chase, cop? Bitch, I am clout. Tell him, get up on my face now, fuck it. The song is fire, like the, the beat is fire, the delivery is dope, everything about it. But it's just like, I can't take it seriously anymore, the gangster rap. Cause you're about that life, but you're not at the same time, you know? And also, isn't this dude Mexican? Like, I always wondered that from the very beginning. Who gave him a pass to just be throwing the N-word everywhere? 
I guess because he came up in that culture and the shit was just so fire back then. Like you couldn't deny, like you couldn't, you couldn't cancel him because that's the culture that he grew up in. I, I mean, I'm not hating on it. If he's got the past, it's all good. But I always, I always wondered that, like when it comes to Hispanics and Mexicans and Puerto Ricans, like who gets the pass and who doesn't? But man, just on this image that I stopped it on right here, six on one hand, six, nine, six, nine, six, nine, six, nine. Face now, fuck. Are you dumb? Mmm, that camera motion right there was fucking fire. Moving, moving, down, fire. Now, fuck Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Oh. Huh? Yeah, you got some money, but you still fuck out, stupid. Listen. Yeah, you got some money, but you still fucking ugly. Trash line. When I talk, you better listen. We can make them dance, pachata. Slide over, do the cha cha. Papa. Flame up, light it. They see me and get excited. Two step, been high. Way before coronavirus. Nigga, who did that? Nigga, who did what? Nigga, that's my shit. Don't I bite it. Nigga, don't. I mean, the beat is saving the lyrics for sure. Because you can have a lyricism if you're a gangster rapper. There's nothing that says that you can't. But this is definitely not it. But the beat is definitely saving it with the aggressive flow. And just the dichotomy within the sound versus the visuals. Like the sound is very aggressive in your face. Dark beat. The, the visuals are very like cotton candy. They're very bright. They're very obviously rainbow colored. Provides like a different level of stimulation for your brain. But nothing that hasn't been said before. Nothing innovative. Wait before coronavirus. Nigga, who did that? Nigga, who did what? Nigga, that's my shit. Don't I'm bite it. Nigga, don't bubble up. Mommy boot it up. Shake it down and gobble, gobble up. Cause my money... That's unfortunate. <laughs> this fucking tattoo. It wobble, wobble up. Mommy boot it up. Slide, slide in the belly trucker. The rape trucker. Your bestie is a germ mad. I'm back. Big mad. He's mad. She's mad. Big sad. <laughs> that was dope. That fucking mouse effect. For sure. And I really got nothing to say on the song. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's, it's another 6 9 song, basically. It just falls right in that, like, comfortable lane that he's always been in. <laughs> That's nice. say tell me how you ride the game back home to a big bag lyricism is definitely subpar for sure i mean and i didn't expect anything fucking mind-blowing lyrical obviously big sad and big mad and big bag are not gonna fucking blow my mind away with the lyricism and the fucking and the and the vocabulary tell me how i ride it came home to a big bag follow <laughs> six nine for a shout out comment when done i'm good on that young blood LOL is right, you know, like if I just can't take him seriously anymore. That's really all what all it comes down to. I respected his grind. I respected his hustle. I didn't like his music, but go get that bag, fam. You know, like you were doing your thing, but I just can't take the gangster lyrics seriously anymore. You did the opposite of what gangsters do. And really, we're just going to have to see if he stands the test of time. You know, like every of course, this song is going to blow up. Of course, him getting on Instagram for the first time in fucking, what, three years, two years? Of course, that's gonna like break records. It's like seeing, it's like seeing the driver get out of a fucking car crash in NASCAR. Like everybody's looking at that right now. Once the allure of seeing who is he gonna emerge as once he comes out of prison and makes and gets back on the scene, once that allure fades away, then what? This is doing the numbers that I thought it was gonna do. But will these numbers and will his pull last over this over time now that he is no longer seen as the same person that he was before he went in? That's what I wanna know. You did it once and you've proven that you could do it in the past, but now that your image in the public eye has changed, can you do it again and again and again and repeat and sustain that level of success that this is? But yo, that's it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. Tell me how you feel about this boy. I read all the comments, so if you have something that's not troll-like or if you have something that's like actually gonna catch my eye, I'll respond back to you, you know? If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing because this is how we do it around here. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at The Third Earnest, just like the channel, links down in the description below. But like I always say, I appreciate y'all guys' time. I know y'all could watch these videos anywhere, you can watch your reactions anywhere, but you choose to do it here, and that shit means the world to me because your time is valuable. But that's the end for today. Like I always say at the very end, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.